Hello everyone, I'm Giuseppe Mamano and today we're gonna do a planar painting and I'm gonna show you how I paint this. Today we're gonna paint this beautiful old, I think it's a fishing boat and I find this place five minutes from where I live in a town called Fort, Fort City. I start with my dark with a mixing of ultramarine blue and transparent red oxide. And usually when I do landscaping or most of my painting I start with my dark, he helped me uh, find the value. You see that now I go a little bit lighter, just a touch lighter. It's a beautiful day, little bit just a little bit windy, but it's an amazing day. Finally, the winter is gone. Now I'm painting the reflection and you can see that I went a little bit lighter on my color. So everything I'm gonna paint on top of the water, I'm gonna reflect in the bottom. Now I'm mixing my greens. Now when I mix the green, I always uh, mix my green with the same color that I mix my dark. There is uh, ultramarine blue and uh, transparent red oxide. That will help me with the color harmony. You see that I went a little bit lighter with my value on the trees. Now I did a paint of this before from a photo because I came here before, took a photo, go home and paint it but I like the painting but I really want to come here and uh, try to get the real color because it's different when uh, you paint from a photo, especially me that I'm not very good at taking picture. Now I'm Painting some reflection in the water. There is a lot of green from all the tree they are on top. And soon I'm gonna put some white, white that is not light part of the old boat. This this boat had a very nice character. Like a, when I pass with my car and see it, I stop and I couldn't resist. I say I gotta paint this. Like, I never see something like this. This is probably very, very old. And uh, it's situated in uh, the river. I'm trying to do a lot of details at the beginning. Just put all the color. And usually I go a little bit darker in the first coat. And after I add maybe some light tone on top. I'm painting now this uh, crane, I guess it was an old crane. And I focus on forms. I don't try to paint all little details, like I squint my eyes and see the form and the color and put it in my canvas. I will come back later and put some details. On this painting I wanna be a little bit more loose Usually I know that I notice that on my painting I'm too tight, too many details, so I'm trying to get myself a little bit more loose. I'm gonna give more an impression. I made a darker green and I'm gonna put around the distant boat that you can see that and the fishing boat. I pick some of my color, I step back every time to see if I'm in the right value. Yeah, I gotta fix them. Now I'm making the sky just using ultramarine. No, I use cobalt blue and titanium white for this cut. Cobalt blue usually with titanium white does a beautiful color for the sky. 
make a very light sky. Now I'll get some details on this fishing boat. But I try to not lose a lot of time because I wanted this paint, this painting pretty loose. So I squint my eyes and then I go over there and a couple brush strokes and get some details just to give the impression. All my mixing, as I said before, any color I mix, I still use my ultramarine blue and my transparent red oxide. If you mix them together, they get dark. If you mix a little bit of white, you can see that it's kind of gray. I don't use black, but the combination, the, the two color, make me like a, a gray. So if I want to a red, I'll mix to my mixing of ultramarine blue and transparent red ox oxide. I'll mix the red, so it's gonna grey down my color. And that will help me with the color harmony. Now I see a lot of detail and uh, what I do, I just uh, in place uh, that I don't want, is not my focal point, I go very loose and I keep out a lot of detail that they are on near the boat. I work a little bit with the crane and now some detail in the boat and I can see that there's a light color underneath this this thing where the boat is on top, I don't know how they call it. Really. It's still in a very good shape, but I don't think this spot is working. I'm gonna find out a little bit more, because maybe I could do a bigger painting of this. Now we're in the side. That's a little rod that they think the people get their boat there to the water. I got my tongue a little bit lighter, so your eye gonna kinda push to the focal point. There is a fishing boat, if it is a fishing boat. Now I add a couple trunks, it's still very loose. I don't wanna put no details in the left side, or even if you see the kinda boat I don't want to focus, no detail, I go very loose there and just do the detail on my focus point. Now with just some uh, cadmium yellow mixing with some ultramarine blue and red oxide, I did the steps, the steps that go in the water. I'm doing some line in the water. I wish I could have bring here a little bigger of a canvas for this painting. You can see here from this other angle, the boat there. There's a very, it's a lot of going on there. I like the color. And this beautiful day, I was lucky that the sun stay up for a little bit. I thought it was going to rain. So this was a very nice experience. And here the finished paint in plain air. All right, guys, we are done for today. Thank you so much. I really enjoy. I hope you guys too. Please remember to subscribe my channel for more videos like this. And check out my website at gmamanoart.com. Up to see you soon. Ciao.